what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the interwebs, this is iDarnish13 now, and I just got done watching the Nintendo Switch press event. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I've been hyped for this whole press event. I was not expecting to, to get that excited. I was expecting you to just be like, oh, they're going to tell us how much it costs, when it's going to come out, like what the launch lineup's going to be. But oh my gosh! They just had to throw in those couple little announcements that just sent me over, and I am literally shaking right now. I am so excited. So, so excited. Oh my goodness. Okay, so first off, let's just start off with a little bit of the nitty gritty. It's coming out on March 3rd. Sooner than everybody was predicting, everybody was saying... Uh, what was it? March 16th is what almost everybody in the industry has been suggesting. Nope. March 3rd. $2.99. That's not that bad. Really isn't. For handheld, that's, that's, that's pretty pricey. But for what they're offering, pretty cool. Pretty cool price point. Not, not too overboard. But then, you know, they started going into some of the games. They had... 1-2 Switch, a game where you don't even look at a screen. Good old party game, relies on motion controllers, the motion control of the Joy-Con controllers. I'm so excited I cannot even contain myself and say the proper things. Oh my gosh. But yeah, it uses the Joy-Con controllers, you do the waggles. Oh, Nintendo, thank goodness you're not calling anything waggle, but just for the sake of my excitement and I can't even think of anything better to call it, I'm just going to call the motion control waggle. You do the waggle, you do the stuff, you party with your friends if you have friends that party or just friends in general to start a party you know what i mean you know what i mean <laughs> all you fellow lonely nintendo fans so <laughs> so yeah yeah one two switch then they came out and they're like hey here's the next game basically we got uh what was it Mr. Hand uh, Cook-Off or whatever it was, Mr. You, you guys might know what I'm talking about. The old, uh, I think it was originally a Nintendo toy and then they turned it into like a, a Club Nintendo reward game that you could download for your Wii where you like the retractable arms and you grill with them. What, none of you know what I'm talking about, so it's okay. Anyway, they come up with this game. It's like Punch Out mixed with what I just talked about, mixed with like Pocket Tournament, and it's called Arms. They named a game ARMS, people. And first off, that's that's just that's just funny. It kind of a meh name, but I, it's just funny. They named a game ARMS. And it I got custom robo vibes from it, honestly. Just the way they're jumping around, you know, the the nice range combat. Oh man, anything that makes me think of custom robo is probably good. It's probably a good thing that it reminds me of Custom Robo. It might not be a good game. Um, yeah. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, as I said, I, I can't even cause myself to form proper sentences or thoughts. I'm just so excited about this. So then, they keep going like, oh yeah, we got Splatoon 2. Which is pretty cool. It's whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm not that, you know, Splatoon's cool. Uh, you know, I, I don't have a Wii U. I've played Splatoon like twice, I think. Uh, so I'm not that familiar with it. And then they go on, you know, get into some third party stuff, you know, just showing this and that. Uh, you know, we got Dragon Warrior, Dragon Quest. Yes, not Dragon Warriors. Hasn't been called that for a very long time. Dragon Quest. Then, you know, they're just showing some stuff. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. And then. And then. The Tecmo Koei logo comes up. Team Ninja. And the first thing that goes through my mind is, oh, hey, my friend Jose is going to be real excited about this. I could feel him squeal. Then I start to think, it's like, oh, this must be Hyrule Warriors uh, I was about to say Hyrule Warriors Legends, but like Hyrule Warriors, they're going to do like a Hyrule Warriors 2 or just a Switch version. But then it all changed when they showed the hilt of the Falchion. Oh my gosh. And then they just showed the Fire Emblem and it turned out it was a Fire Emblem game. And we are getting Fire Emblem Warriors. Oh man, oh man, 
there's going to be a Fire Emblem hack and slash. I don't think I have done an on-camera video where I talk about video game stuff where I have not mentioned Fire Emblem in who knows how long. So, probably since before Awakening came out. That was three years ago. That was over three years ago. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm getting on tangents and whatnot. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah. No. A Fire Emblem hack and slash. Fire Emblem Warriors. Come on, people. How how can you not be hyped for that? You may not even know what Fire Emblem is, but just look at my excitement right now. Look at my excitement right now and transfer it upon yourself. Be excited for this game. Please buy it. Please support this just so people like me can be happy and more stuff like this can happen and more Fire Emblem spinoffs can happen because... We need Fire Emblem Cooking Mama. We need Fire Emblem Dancing All Night. We need Fire Emblem Everything. <laughs> I'd take Fire Emblem Guitar Hero. I'd take anything. Fire Emblem Karaoke, even though there'd only be like one song, you'd, you'd basically just 100 get to the point where you can 100% You Are the Ocean's Grey Waves just a thousand times. I j I'm desperate here. I just want this Fire Emblem Warriors, and then maybe we can get more Fire Emblem spinoff games in the future. I don't know. I'm just so excited about this. I honestly don't even need to talk about the Switch. I could just talk about this one game, this entire video, which is basically what I'm doing at this point. Yeah, I'm so excited. So excited for this game. Woo! Woo! Alright, uh, and then uh, they just kept on going. They announced a new Shin Megami Tensei game, which goes hand in hand with Fire Emblem, and well, you all know what I'm referencing there. Yeah, yeah. Still, still want to play uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE. I said it in one try. <laughs> Aren't you proud of me? So yeah, uh, they showed off a new Fire Emblem. The, the, they showed off a new Shin Megami Tensei game. See, I'm thinking Shin Megami Tensei Cross Fire Emblem, the game I feel like we never actually got. So, yeah, then they showed a new Square Enix RPG. Um, I don't remember what it was called. I know it was Project Something, like, about something in one or another. But it looked like a 2D, 8-bit uh, side-scroller, kind of, or 16-bit side-scroller, which was interesting. So it looks like classic, like classic Final Fantasy. Maybe you explore stuff. I don't know. My mind was still stuck on Fire Emblem just the entire time. It's all a blur, really. All I can think of is the split-second... We saw, like, Krom's hand and, like, his, his midsection, and it was Krom, okay? It was Krom in high definition, and it was Krom, okay? It was my dude, Krom. So, <clears throat> then, you know, they did, they showed off uh, Xenoblade, Xenoblade 2. I don't really know anything about Xenoblade. I never played it. I just know that, you know, a lot of people like it, uh, you know? It's Xenoblade, who was popular, and I know it was worth a decent bit of money, but this one probably won't be, because Nintendo, I don't even know what I'm getting at there, artificial sale, artificial scarcity, all that stuff, I doubt they would do that with Xenoblade 2. So, moving on. Uh, earlier on, they showed off just the way that the hardware works. I'm not going to go into all that. You guys have probably seen something about it or just somebody else's video talking about it. Realistically, you probably got sick and tired of me talking about Fire Emblem and nobody even made it to this point in the video. For the two of you that did, congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate you. I don't know why you even care about my opinion, but I appreciate it. So then they just showed off. Uh, Fire Emblem Warriors, okay? Fire Emblem Warriors. I, I just can't even form proper thoughts. They showed off uh, Skyrim. Skyrim's coming to the Switch. Um, <laughs> I've had some amusing Skyrim conversations over the past week, so I'm, I'm just going to let that sit in my brain for a moment. No point in explaining that one. So, yeah, Skyrim, you're going to be able to take it wherever you go. Uh, I've never played Skyrim. Maybe that will be the thing that causes me to try Skyrim. I still doubt I'll care for it, but... You know, it's worth a shot, and why not? Um, yeah. They showed off Skyrim, which we already knew was coming from the, you know, old trailer. Uh, they showed off the new Mario game, Super Mario Odyssey, and I will admit, 
as somebody who probably wouldn't buy a Mario game when it comes out, I think it looks really good. I think it looks cool. I, I want to play it. And honestly, growing up, I wasn't a Mario kid. Um, I was a Pac-Man kid, as some of you may know. Um, so I don't have that much of a connection to the 3D Mario platformers. I love the 2D ones. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, it looks really cool. Um, oh, shoot. What do you, what else, what else was there? It's just, there's so much going through my brain and heart right now, but mostly just Fire Emblem Warriors and just the thought of just, oh, Fire Emblem Warriors. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, my brain's just gone to mush, so I'm just going to skip right on to the end. Then they uh, they, they basically <clears throat> went the whole thing without mentioning Zelda. Not once. And then they were like, oh, hey, thank you for watching this. But wait, Zelda. And then they had this really great trailer for Zelda Breath of the Wild. And then they had to pull this whole shenanigans where it's like Reggie was like, oh, I can't tell you the release date. Let's go to Miyamoto. Miyamoto doesn't know the release date. Let's go to Alnuma. Alnuma's not going to tell you. And then eventually we got the release date. And it is March 3rd. Which just so happens to be the day the Nintendo Switch comes out. That's right. It's a launch title. We're getting... Nin <laughs> We're getting Zelda Breath of the Wild. Day and day on launch with the Nintendo Switch. That's going to be quite the hot commodity right there if I do say so myself huh I'm excited for Breath of the Wild that trailer was one of the trailers for Breath of the Wild that really just gripped me because I got Wind Waker vibes and there was a Korok in there and just oh man I I'm so excited for Breath of the Wild and I didn't think I would be honestly I love Zelda to death but I just hey that that hey that could be a topic for a video this is how I feel about Zelda nowadays. Yeah. Um, shoot, I don't even know where to go on. Uh, tomorrow is going to be... They're going to be doing the uh, the Treehouse Live. Maybe we'll get some more game announcements. I kind of doubt it. You know, there were all those rumors about uh, like a Pokemon Sun and Moon port. Um, maybe that would be cool. I would dig that. Um, I really want there to be a Smash Brothers port. I would love that really really would love that i would love them for them to port some more of the, like just port some of the wii u exclusives um because i don't want to buy a wii u i really don't um but i really want to play some of those games tokyo mirage Sh sessions sharp heavy haha i messed up saying at that time um you know smash mario kart they showed mario kart gameplay so i'm sure we're gonna get mario kart 8 eventually uh or did they go over that in the the conference i don't recall um, so on and so forth, just some of the Wii U games, um, and if Wind Waker HD were to somehow get ported to the Switch, I would probably ball my eyes out, because that would, ah, uh, confession, I have not played through, like, I've not been given the opportunity to play through Wind Waker HD, and that is probably, like, the game. Like, that is the be-all, end-all for video games for me. It's like, once I play Wind Waker HD, there'll probably be no topping that ever again in my life. So, part of me doesn't want to play it, you know. Save it. Save it. I'll play it when I'm an old, crusty man, maybe. I don't know. That's, a, that's another topic for another time. So, yeah. Um, I think that kind of sums up this ramble excitement session. Um... I really should have done a more like in-depth oh here's my actual thoughts like when I'm calmed down and I have a list of everything in front of me and I can really talk about it in an educated informed manner but no that isn't exciting as me just turning on my camera literally like 30 seconds after the thing after the conference ended and just talking about my excitement for Fire and Lemoyers. And so with that being said, my kitty just came in the room. Tiki. Yeah, that's right. My cat, her name is Tiki. And she is named after exactly who you think she is named after from Fire Emblem. Tiki, you know what? That worked out pretty well, baby, for you to come in here. 
people at this time. You want to say something to them? Yeah. So with that being said, Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem. I just wanted to talk to you guys about Fire Emblem. So I actually, uh, I, I grabbed my phone and just turned on my camera as fast as I could um, for the whole Fire Emblem Warriors announcement. Oh, goodness. Oh, you were on a mission, weren't you? All right. Mwah. So I just grabbed my phone and turned on my camera and started recording my reaction because I, the second, the second the Falchion showed up on screen, I started just losing my mind and I was yelling even though nobody could hear me. I was just... I, I have issues when it comes to Fire Emblem, okay? Just the excitement that goes through my body. If it has to do with Fire Emblem Awakening in any way, I just lose it. I just lose it. <laughs> I should I should have taken a minute and changed into my uh, Lucina t-shirt from the Yeti. I should have done that. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, I guess I'm going to go ahead and cut this off right here. Um, thank you guys for watching this. I know this was very rambly. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I was losing my place here. Um, what I'm saying is, I'm going to end this video with the uh, like 50 second video I recorded on my phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and play that here in just a moment. But thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, this I just maybe I'll do a more cohesive video on all this soon enough. Maybe after Treehouse Live. Maybe if I just have some more time to talk about all this. Um, but until next time, guys, just know that Fire Emblem Warriors is a thing, and I might have to, like, sell one of my kidneys to get a Switch and play it, but I'm gonna be a desperate man, and I'm gonna have to find some way to get my hands on a Switch so I can play a game with Krom, and it's a hack and slash, and just all the possibilities are endless. Oh man. Oh man. I... Oh, I can't wait for more information on Fire Emblem Warriors. And hey, while we're at it, there's going to be a Fire Emblem mobile game this year. And it's just it's just going to be a good year, guys. A good year. Persona 5, a Fire Emblem game on my phone. Do I even need anything? Oh, a new, a new Ghost Recon. That's, that's... It's just going to be a really good year, guys. I can feel it. I right, just, just cut to that video of me losing my cool. Yeah, the p peace out. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's Fire Emblem! It's a Dynasty Warriors Fire Emblem game, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I am buying a Switch. Oh my god. They show the Falcian. Oh my god, is that my man? Is that my man? That that was my man. What you just saw. Oh my god. Blade Chronicles 2. And Koei Tecmo's latest game, Fire Emblem Warriors. Fire Emblem Warriors. Next, I'd like to introduce our third party partners. The Nintendo Switch concept. Yes!